and welcome back to another Meraki Minute. My name is Humphrey Chung, and let's take a look at your event logs for the Meraki dashboard. Just log into dashboard.meraki.com and go to Network Wide and Event Log. You're going to be seeing events for all of your devices, so whether you own a security appliance, an access point, or a switch, or a camera, etc., and you'll be able to search by several things like the event type. This is usually what you're going to be doing. So Let's search for all DHCP issues, so I'll type in all DHCP, click search, and it's going to filter out everything before a certain date. You can filter it out by client, client name, client MAC address, and then you can also filter out by a particular security appliance, a particular AP, particular switch, etc. All of your logs can be downloaded, so just click on download as, and you can download it as a CSV file. Now for those of you who are running a syslog ser server, let's say you're running some Linux syslog server, maybe even SolarWinds or Splunk or something like that, and it will take syslog information, you can very easily export all of this information live by going to network-wide and then general. Network-wide and general, and then just scroll down and you will see a place to port. So this is going to be your syslog servers. Just type in the IP addresses, the port, and then what events you want to export. And you can see, depending on the types of devices you own, you can do everything from exporting wireless events, security, etc., even flows and URLs. You can actually put multiple syslog servers if you're running uh, a backup syslog server primary, etc. Now, if you are exporting your events to a syslog server, we are still keeping a copy, so the primary copy is going to be on our cloud dashboard, and we are also at the same time sending a mirror image or mirror events to our syslog servers. Well, that was a quick video on how to look at your event logs, how to also export your logs to a syslog server. I'll see you in the next video.